So we're doing a follow up on the Kenny hack on canvas. Um, finally did a materials test on this and the Kenny hack kind of has a strange reaction with canvas. On the left, you'll see it kind of goes through a brown scale at really low power and high speed. And once you go, and then it goes through like a gray scale where it doesn't matter what power and speed you're at, it kind of blanks it out white. And then as you get into slower speeds and higher power, it'll start to get into a black scale. Well, I was kind of interested in this brown scale because you can do it at very high speeds and super low power. Um, so here is my test run. How that came out, that's at 6,000 millimeters per minute and only 35% power. So you're smoking fast, really low power. So, and it kind of produces a sepia look. Like on the right side, I put it with a matte gloss or a matte finish on it so it doesn't shine. Um, and on the left, it's got a gloss finish. Both sides really kept their detail well. Um, very good. So it's, it's kind of up to you, the user, whether you want a matte finish to not catch any glare or make it look a little brighter, but you kind of have to look at it dead on. Um, I'm going to do up a full uh, 8 inch by 8 inch board, kind of see how it looks. Um, so it's kind of something different. It kind of gives it that old western look, the sepia look, uh, something different than just spray painting black on canvas and taking it off. Uh, the Kenny hack on any product, you can just paint it on, blow dry it, and it's r ready for use. There's no waiting for anything to dry overnight or two hours to put on a layer. It says put on a layer, blow dry it until it's fit, you know, dry to the touch, and then you can go to burning it. Doesn't matter if it's on wood or if it's on canvas or on slate. Just put it on, blow dry it, and start going. So I'll show you a little clip of the 8x8 getting burned in and the final result. So here we are just starting out on the 8x8. See it's moving along pretty good. Uh, these do come out a little on the light side. You know, like I said, it's going to look kind of like an old faded Wild West photo. It's not going to be super dark. It's going to look pretty vintage, but that's kind of a unique look, and I, I, I kind of like it. So, like I said, here's the original image running uh, 6,000 speed, 35% power, 0 0.100 resolution. And you can see it's 10% uh, 11% done, only 8 minutes in. It should only take about a little over an hour to complete. Um, see if we can bring up the estimator here. Yeah, it's looking right at an hour and 7 minutes for an 8 inch by 8 inch picture. For a diode, that's kind of smoking fast. For those diode users that are don't want to go over 3,000 millimeters per minute, I'd suggest probably running somewhere down around the 17, 18, 19 percent range. Is all the more power it'll take. If you can cut the speed in half, cut the power in half, it'll take some more testing to figure that out. But uh, I said mine seems to be running just fine at 6,000 millimeters per minute. Most recommendations say you can't engrave with diodes at over anything over 3,000 millimeters per minute. Um, but as with most things, with this uh, Kenny Hack solution, it just reacts so well with lasers, it just speeds everything up that you can do. Um, can run slower at a lot lower power if that's what you're comfortable with but to produce this sepia effect it has to be running at a really higher speed than what the power is just the way the chemicals react to 
produce the brown scale, that's kind of how it works. It, if you're too slow and too high a power, it'll produce a gray scale that doesn't really change with power. It'll just kind of all make it gray. And that's, I've had several demos I made that just didn't turn out and I was about ready to give up on it. And then kind of started learning how to make better images and uh, kind of seeing that at low, low speed, high power, this chemical produces a black scale, like a more of a gray to black scale. So if that, I might run some tests and see how that produces. But right now this high speed, low power is producing a really nice sepia effect, Old West look. And so we'll see how it turns out in the end. Almost at the 50% point. Um, as you can see, uh, it's burning in beautifully. It's great color. You know, it is kind of toned down. It's not going to be the super darkest of print. It's going to have an old look to it. And even here on the edge where I didn't quite get the chemical applied, it kind of looks like a water stained edge. You could easily create a worn out effect on the edge by masking it off in rough tape sections, painting a layer on, and then peeling the tape off. The laser will not burn on the bare canvas at this speed and low power. So you can leave a rough looking edge all the way around it if that's what you desire um, but the next bit I'll show when it gets complete well here's the finished product got a coat of matte finish over it uh, the crystal clear matte um, kind of cuts down on the shine applied uh, gave another blow dry off with the blow dryer uh, this stain is kind of heat reactive. Sometimes, like if I'd have put on more coats of stain, it'd have probably turned it a darker and darker brown, and probably given it even more of a sepia look. Uh, this is just one coat of the 50% Kenny Hack solution. See my other videos on how to make it. Um, please like, share. Uh, recently added a GoFundMe for donations if you like this stain. And it greatly helps your productivity and new uses for lasers. Please uh, kindly think about maybe making a donation, a few bucks here and there, uh, when it's basically doubled all my production speeds. This thing has been a big help for what I do. Uh, I'm running at speeds that most people just don't even think diodes can run at and producing quality, producing results like this. I'm just learning how to make photos, so it's kind of what was holding me up. I was trying to get better at using lasers before I made some uh, result videos, just because I didn't know how to make them. I've only been doing laser work for three or four months, so I'm pretty new to the lasering world, um, really trying to learn everything there is to do, but... This product has really changed how I do things. So look up how to make it. Give it a try. See what you can do with it. Find some new uses for it. And let's see what we can do. All right. Thank you.